Basic Education Curriculum, Technology and Livelihood Education, Learner's Activity Sheet Lesson Video, Computer System Servicing, CSS, Classification of Hardware Tools, Part 2. Good day class, I'm your TLD teacher, Sir Lance. Welcome to a new learning competency in TLE Computer System Servicing. Learning Competency Plan and prepare for tasks to be undertaken. Prepare hand tools. Use appropriate hand tools and test equipment. And maintain hand tools. Proper use of cleaning materials. Dust is not just unattractive, it can potentially damage or even destroy parts of your computer. Cleaning your computer regularly will help you keep it working properly and avoid expensive repairs. Component school, causing chips and circuits to overheat and fail. Proper use of cleaning materials. Caution. When compressed air is used to clean the system unit, the air should be blown around the components with a minimum distance of 4 inches from the nozzle. The power supply and the fan should be cleaned from the back of the case. Before cleaning any device, turn it off and unplug the device from the power source. Computer Cases and Monitors Clean computer cases and the outside of monitors with a mild cleaning solution on a dump, lint-free cloth. Mix one drop of this washing liquid with 4 ounces of water to create the cleaning solution. If any water drips inside the case, allow enough time for the liquid to dry before powering on the computer. Do not use glass cleaner to clean a monitor. Many screens have anti-glare coatings that can be damaged by glass cleaner. Keyboard Clean a desktop keyboard with a compressed air or a small handheld vacuum cleaner with a brush attachment. Caution! Do not use a standard vacuum cleaner in cleaning your system unit. Use only the prescribed cleaning tool to avoid damage to the unit. Mouse Optical mouse requires no internal cleaning because they do not contain any rotating parts. However, they can get sticky over time as dust collects near the light emitter. This can cause erratic cursor movement or prevent the mouse from working properly. Moisten a cotton cloth with rubbing alcohol and use it to clean the top and bottom of the mouse. PPE or Personal Protective Equipment This is to shield you from hazard that will happen during working time at your workplace. Always wear PPE equipment like gloves, safety eyeglasses, protective masks, and rubber sole shoes. It's now time to test and apply your knowledge. It's activity time. Learning task number one. Fill in the blanks with the correct word or words. Choose from the choices in the box. The choices are cable ties, part retriever, compressed air, Parts Organizer, Flashlight, Torx Screwdriver Number 1. I need to open my laptop to easily remove the screws. I should use blank to loosen the star-like depression on the top screws. Number 2. To keep the tools in proper storage, I should use blank to keep them organized. Number 3. I should use blank to see well the dark part inside the system unit. Number four, to keep the dust and debris away from the computer parts, 
I should use the blank. And number five, to keep the electrical cables and wires in proper place, I should use blank to hold the items together. Learning task number two. As a computer technician, your task is to familiarize yourself on every hand tool used in repairing or maintaining a computer. Identify the classification of the following tools. Write the letter of your answer on the line. The choices are A. Electrostatic discharge tools B. Hand tools C. Cleaning tools and D. Diagnostic tools 1. Anti-static mat 2. Crimping tool 3. Lint-free cloth 4. Parts organizer 5. Torx screwdriver 6. Anti-static wrist strap 7. Compressed air 8. Loop back adapter 9. Punch down tool 10. Tweezers 11. Cable ties 12. Land tester 13. Multimeter 14. Soldering iron and 15. Wire stripper Learning task number 3. Write safe if the statement shows safety procedures and unsafe if it does not show safety procedures. Write your answer on the line before each number. 1. Jose is not using anti-static wrist strap while repairing the computer. 2. Armando used to put the screwdriver inside his pocket. 3. Mr. Renato carries the tools with care. 4. Ryan and Jan pass the tools to one another with care. 5. Ramon always keeps his tools in good condition. 6. Juan used a standard vacuum cleaner in cleaning his system unit. 7. Andrew used a soldering stand while soldering electronic equipment. 8. Joey used his screwdriver to hammer the screws. 9. Karen moistens a cotton cloth with rubbing alcohol and uses it to clean the mouse. 10. Clean a desktop keyboard with a hair blower or a small handheld vacuum cleaner. Performance task number 1. Scrapbook making. 1. Make a scrapbook of the different tools used in computer system servicing. 2. Paste at least 10 pictures of different tools. 3. Write the name of tools below the picture and its function. Below is the scoring rubric for your scrapbook. Thank you class for watching and listening. Don't forget to give your comments, like, share, and subscribe. See you again on our next e-learning class. Have a great day. Goodbye!